Hey, it's Richard with Presonus, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Studio Live Series 3 console in DAW mode with Studio One. I'm going to show you how to hook everything up and then give you an overview of all of the amazing features so that you can see how tightly integrated these two are. So, let's begin. On your computer, take an available USB port and plug that into the USB port at the back of the console. Then, if your computer has an Ethernet port, you can plug directly from that into the control Ethernet port on the back of the console. If you don't have an Ethernet port and you need to do it wirelessly, you plug a LAN output of your wireless router into the control port, and then you log on to that wireless network from your computer. Now that you've networked your mixer and your computer, the next step is to launch Studio One and then press the UC Net button on your Studio Live mixer. On the touchscreen, tap the software control menu and select Studio One from the drop down list. And then press the DAW button right below the touchscreen. One of the benefits of the Studio Live Series 3 console with Studio One is that you have access to all of the faders on the console. There are other manufacturers out there that just give access to eight faders and call it DAW mode. We didn't do that. Even with our other software manufacturers, we believe in giving everyone access to the entire console. So that's just another benefit of using the Studio Live Series 3 in DAW mode. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on. Now let's take a look at the FAT channel controls, which you get to by pressing the input button on the FAT channel itself. You can use the encoder to adjust the panning of the currently selected channel. You can enable monitoring on the selected channel. Press this button to enable record arm on the selected channels. Press the edit button to open the control link editor for your Studio Live mixer in Studio One. The input function lets you, with the encoder, change the input for the selected channel. And the output function lets you, with the encoder, change the output for the selected channel. And in automation mode, with the encoder, you can change the automation mode for each selected channel. Now let's look at some touchscreen controls. When you have any track selected in Studio One, you can access all of these controls via the touchscreen. You can see the track name, the input source, you can mute the track or solo it, you can record arm, you can enable input monitoring, you can view the pan position, you can view the track type, you can view the output destination for the currently selected track, and the metering for that track. The inserts section displays the channel inserts. We will look at how to change them in just a moment. You can use these buttons to scroll through your inserts. The sends area displays the currently selected channel sends. You can tap the plus sign to add a new send, and we'll cover that in a little more depth in a later section. You can also scroll through your sends, choose your automation modes, and then you have the channel settings button, which you can tap to open the channel settings window. In the previous section, we were talking about fader automation modes. And so I just wanted to cut in and give you a little bit of information about the benefits of how we do our faders on the Series 3 console. We use motorized 100 millimeter touch sensitive faders. Now when you're dealing with a non-touch sensitive fader and you're in touch mode, you actually have to move the fader for it to start overriding your automation. And then when you're done, you either have to stop the transport real quick or switch to read mode before you overwrite what you want to keep. Not so with touch sensitive faders. In touch mode, our touch sensitive faders, the second that you touch them, they're now writing the new automation. And the moment that you let them go, they are reverting back to the automation that you want to keep. So that's just another benefit of the Studio Live Series 3 console. So let's move forward. Now let's take a look at how to add inserts. You can add and edit plugins to your session from the touchscreen by pressing the Add Insert button. This will open the Add Insert screen on your mixer. Select the plugin you'd like to insert by touching it on the touchscreen or clicking it in Studio One. You can add and edit sends to your session from the touchscreen by pressing the Add Sends button. Select the send you'd like to insert by touching it on the touchscreen or clicking it in Studio One. Now let's look at the transport functions. You have Return to Zero, Stop, play, and record. Press the tap button to turn the metronome on or off. And now let's look at the transport screen. You can see the session name, 
the current position, the loop length, the time signature and tempo, the record mode, where you can tap to enable or disable record replace mode, pre-roll, where you can tap to turn it on and off, click, where you can tap to turn it on and off, you can tap to go to the previous marker, you can tap and hold rewind playback position, tap and hold to fast forward, tap to go to the next marker, return to zero, stop, play, tapping record engages record mode, and tapping the loop button engages loop mode. The four effects mute buttons on your Studio Live console will allow you to open and close some views in your Studio One session. FX A mute will open and close the inspector. The B mute will open and close the editor. FX C mute will open and close the mixer. And the FX D mute will open and close the browser. The user function buttons can be assigned to any key command in Studio One. To program a command, while DAW mode is active, press the Home button. Then touch the System icon on the touchscreen. Touch the User Assign buttons icon in the touchscreen. Assign functions to any of the eight User Function buttons by pressing the Edit button next to the corresponding User Function button name in the touchscreen. As you can see, Studio Live Series 3 delivers the very best in DAW control allowing you to unlock your creativity with your DAW of choice. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and thanks for using our products. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.